Hello! Today we are going to be drawing a fish like this one. I'm going to take you through it step by step. Before we start, I'm going to ask you to get your supplies. So you're going to need a clean white sheet of paper and a pencil with an eraser. And if you have some, you can use some coloured markers or crayons or coloured pencils. Any of those are fine. So go ahead and stop your video now and get your supplies and then unpause when you get back. Okay, so to start with, we're going to draw the shape of our fish. So you can see it's actually a very simple shape. It looks like a teardrop with a tail and fins on either side. So I'm going to start by doing that. I'm using my pencil very lightly and I'm going to start by drawing a teardrop shape. I'm going to start over here, I think. And I'm drawing very lightly with my pencil so that if I need to erase, I can do. I'm not pushing down hard. So now I've got my teardrop shape there. And I'm going to add on the tail. The tail kind of comes a little narrower and then flares out again, like that. Now I'm going to add in the other part of the tail. So it's going to kind of come in a little like that. And then out a little like that. Then the last thing to do is add on the fins. And the fins are just little triangles that come down on one side and on the other side. Okay, oh, I don't quite like this side. I'm gonna erase that. So because I drew lightly, I can erase it. And I'm gonna make my fin a little bit narrower there. Just like that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with my fish now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna erase these lines to make sure that the fins are connected to the body. And now I have my fish. Now, this is the important thing. Now you're going to take a black marker or a black crayon or a black pencil, but preferably a marker. And you're going to very carefully outline your fish. This is the first step, okay? So I'm gonna do that. You can pause your video and grab your black marker and then start playing again when you're ready. So I'm just going to go all the way around, carefully following my pencil lines. And I'm making quite a thick black line because I want my fish to stand out. And there's my cat. Okay, so now I've finished drawing my fish and it's just a very simple outline of a fish. You don't need to add anything else to it. Now I'm going to add in the lines that show me where to put my colors. So you can see here that I have lots of different colors that make up the fish. I chose to make my fish yellow and red and orange and the water around it is obviously all blue. But you can see that there's curvy lines through here. So that's what we're gonna do next. If you find that you are really struggling to draw a fish and you just can't make it look right, that's okay. If you don't want to draw a fish, instead you could draw something simple like a heart shape or just a circle. Okay, a circle is fairly easy. You could take something that is round, like a jug or a large cup or um, a bowl and just draw around a circle. Right, to make a nice temper. And then you would outline that in black and then follow the same steps that we're going to do with our fish. You could draw a heart shape. And I think most people can always draw a heart shape by themselves. All right, those are quite simple to draw. Mine's a little wonky, but that's okay doesn't need to be perfect. So if you can't draw a fish, don't worry. You can draw a simple shape instead, like a circle or even just a square. 
using a ruler or a heart shape, whatever you want. Okay, back to the fish. Here's my outline. Now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna lightly draw some curvy lines. What I don't want to do is draw too many. I do not want lots and lots of tiny, tiny shapes to color in. So I'm gonna be careful as I draw them. I'm drawing nice, smooth, big curves, okay? And I'm drawing my lines kind of going a little crisscross over each other, like this. This makes it look a little bit like the waves on some water, right? If the water's a little bit moving. But I don't want a lot of lines in there because if I have too many lines, my shapes are gonna to be too small and it's gonna get very hard to color it all in when we get to that stage. So I'm just drawing some nice curvy lines, not too many so that I don't get shapes that are too small. I'm gonna add one down here. And I might add one up there. And I think that's pretty good. Now, with these lines, I'm not gonna outline these in black. I'm gonna leave those in pencil because you can see on the finished picture, I don't have black lines in between them, okay? But I can see them with my pencil. I drew my pencil lines quite thickly so that you can see them. But when you're drawing it, you can be very light and very gentle and just draw very faint pencil lines so that you can see them. But once you color in between them, they won't stand out. All right, now comes the fun part. You are going to need to be careful. I'm going to choose the colors that I'm gonna color in my fish. Now, the water around, I'm gonna keep those as different blue colors. And my fish, I'm going to color in yellows and oranges and maybe some reds as well, okay? It's up to you. If you want your fish to be purples and pinks, that would work too. Um, if you wanted it to be maybe browns and oranges, that would work. So, but pick colors that are gonna to go together, okay? And remember the outside is going to be all blues, all different shades of blue. You could even have blue and green around the outside and yellow and red on the inside. But whatever it needs, whatever you choose, it needs to contrast, okay? So your water is gonna be blues and the fish needs to be a contrasting color. That's why I'm choosing yellows and oranges. So now I'm going to start coloring in different shapes. I've got my different markers here. If you want to use pencils or crayons, you can totally do that. And I'm going to start, and I'm going to be very careful to stay inside of the lines. In fact, what I'm going to do is outline each shape first in the color that I'm choosing. And I'm being careful not to go onto the black marker with my yellow marker because I know that the black will run into the yellow and make it look yucky. So once I've outlined the shape that I'm coloring, then I'm gonna fill it in carefully so that I don't go over the lines. And that's one shape. Now, the shapes that are around the shape, I don't want to color those in yellow. I want to make them different colors. So for each one that I color in, I'm gonna make one next to it a different color. So this one here, I think I'm gonna color in orange. And I'm outlining my shape very carefully. There's a tiny little triangle here. I'm not gonna color that one in orange. I'm gonna leave that and do it a different color. I'm gonna follow these lines very carefully. So this will take some while, some time. And you don't have to do it all in one sitting. You can take your time, you can come back to it. Maybe just do the fish one day and come back and do the water the next day. And there's my second shape. Now, it would be very boring for you to sit here and watch me color this all in by all at once. So I'm gonna stop my video now and then come back when I finish coloring. Okay, so you can see that I've now finished coloring in my fish with my different yellows, reds, and oranges. 
and it's looking really good. So the next step, as you can imagine, is to color in the water. So now I'm gonna pick out some blues that I want to use. And again, if you're using crayons or colored pencils, that's totally fine. You can mix those together. You could use crayons and colored pencils and that will be fine. I'm gonna use all blues, but if you wanted to add some greens in there as well, that would be fine too. So, same process as before. I'm just going to take a blue color, pick a shape to color in. I'm gonna outline it with my blue marker here first because I like to make it nice and neat around the edges. It's really important to stay in the lines as you're coloring in because that makes the shape of these curves stand out. If you go over the lines, then the curves won't be as obvious and it won't look as good. So I'm just gonna color in. Even though my marker is going moving quickly, I am being careful not to go over my lines. You can see that, All right? like that. And then just with the fish, I'm going to pick a different color to color in next to it. I'm trying, I'm not going, I'm going to try not to get the same color anywhere around these shapes. If you don't have enough different colors, that's okay. You can color in the same color. Or if you're using colored pencils, you can blend. So you might have two different colors of blue and you can use them to color one on top of the other and blend them together a little bit. Or you can take your pencil and color in lightly in one shape and push down harder in another shape. So I'm gonna fill up my entire page with the blue colors. I'm gonna pause the video here and come back when I'm done. Okay, now you can see that the fish and all of the water are completely colored in. Because I use felt tips, it's kind of curling up at the edges. So what I might do is get a piece of card and stick it onto that. But otherwise, your drawing is finished. Now, I wanted to show you one that I started doing with a heart shape where I didn't draw curvy lines. I drew straight lines out from a point in the middle of the heart shape. And to do that, I used the ruler that you got in your supply kit from school. And I drew the heart shape first. I forgot to outline it in black, which I probably should have done, but that's okay. Then I picked a spot in the middle of the heart, not right in the middle, but just kind of off to one side to make it look a little bit more interesting. And then I got my ruler and I drew pencil lines out from that one spot and I drew them all the way around. And now I'm in the middle of coloring it in and I decided to do the inside of my heart pinks and purples. On the outside, I'm just using black and gray because I think that'll make it really pop, but I didn't get time to finish it. So I would love to see what you guys come up with. You can do a heart shape. You could do a fish. You could even be a little bit more adventurous and try doing lots of fish like I started doing here. You could do just some circles or square shapes and then put the curvy lines through them. You could just use straight lines if you wanted to as well. There's lots of different ways to do this project. So I'm really looking forward to see what you, seeing what you come up with. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you will enjoy the next lesson that I make for you. Bye.